Speaker, my question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer please update the House on the release of the Australian Consum Competition and Consumer Commission's preliminary report on retail electricity prices? Will he explain how the government is working to put downward pressure on energy prices, not just for the people of Petrie, but for all hard-working Australian families and businesses. The Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I, I thank the member for Petrie for his question and the hard work he's doing and all members on this side of the House are doing to ensure the government is putting downward pressure on electricity prices for their constituents, Mr Speaker, and for their passion and their commitment to get the right deals for the consumers that they've in their electorates. And I know the member for Petrie would agree with the chairman of the ACCC who said today if you want to get cheaper electricity, then you've got to focus on what's caused electricity to become more expensive. That was the message from the chairman of the ACCC today, and that is what I asked him to investigate back in April as part of the government's broader package of measures, which is designed to put downward pressure on rising electricity prices. And the commissioner has come back with his draft report to get those facts, and today, and he has prized open the books of the electricity and energy companies as he was uh, empowered to do, and he's come back with some facts, and he he has commended the government on the action we have been taking to get this job done. First finding, Mr Speaker, amongst many, is he has concluded that Labor's carbon tax drove up prices and we were right to get rid of it, Mr Speaker, as a government. He concluded that the renewable energy targets are about subsidising investment in renewable energy to create a renewables industry with scale, not to bring down prices. And he found they hadn't, Mr. Speaker. In fact, they've been pushing prices up. And the customers have been paying for that, Mr. Speaker, as he said, smearing costs right across the spectrum. Now, Labor wants a bigger renewable energy target. They're not satisfied with the price increases that are being driven by the current one. They want one of up to 50 per cent, just like they want an emissions reduction target of 45 per cent that would require you to wipe out the emissions of the entire electricity industry. Mr Speaker, that is the plan of the Leader of the Opposition to drive up electricity bills. There, he's also found that when you blow up coal-fired power stations, which the Labor Party cheered on, it pushes up prices. Particularly, particularly when you have no plan to replace it with dispatchable baseload power like this government has when it comes to Snowy 2.0. So blowing up coal-fired power stations with no plan is no plan at all, as we saw in South Australia. Member for and they also found that the big poles and wires company, while state Labor government stripped dividends off them and allowed them to gold plate their infrastructure, drove up prices more than anything else. And we have we have kicked out of the Park, Mr. Speaker, this free kick that was provided to those companies, public and private, to do that, as the Prime Minister remarked, has already passed in the Senate today. And we have found that the power retailers have been not treating their loyal customers well and have been mystifying their customers. And the deal we put together with the electricity retailers was about ensuring uh, those, those customers got a better deal. Sitting down, getting the deal done, as we did with gas, delivering the on our Treasurer's plan. time has concluded.